I microwaved some hot dogs. Now I'm going to fish with them. Now I've heard that if you microwave your hot dogs before you fish with them, they stay on the hook better. And I think they might be right. It is a little bit more tough than an uncooked hot dog. Well, technically all hot dogs are cooked anyway. You just heat them up, singe them a little bit, and then eat them. Putting one right by the dock to see if there's any catfish under the dock. Of course, I'm putting a bell on the line so I can hear when I get a bite. And this one's going to go out in the channel in deeper water. Now I know in a previous video I said I would hit up a couple of ponds. I still plan on doing that sometime in the future. But for now I'm hitting this backwater creek where I know there's catfish. From what I've heard, the channel catfish are actually biting back here. And hopefully I'll be lucky enough to get one. First nibble. Maybe it was a bluegill. They're just playing with it. If it keeps doing that, they'll eventually get it off the hook. Might be there. Yep. Got him. Oh, he got off. That'd be a really little one. Probably too small for my one knot hook. <laughs> All right, I'm going to put an end piece out there. Well, oh, there it is. <laughs> I guess if you do microwave them, they can come off. Try this again and be more gentle about it. Put the bell on. Just leave it locked down. Let the fish hook itself. Usually. I could probably put the bell higher. There we go. Of course, the catfish I caught at that pond had to reel down on them. 
So sometimes with circle hooks, you have to set it by just reeling down or even doing a slow sweeping hook set. Maybe another one will drop by. Things you see down in the holler. Okay, before it gets too dark, I'm going to go ahead and refresh both baits. And I'm going to put both of them out there in the deeper water. Maybe that's where they're hanging out. We'll find out. I also brought my light, so I am going to film after dark a little bit. Hopefully I can get one fish on this video. If not, I'll publish it as is so i think i have enough that happened on this video to make it worth publishing you guys can definitely let me know in the comments below all right nice fresh piece I did have both pieces and nothing has been chewing on them. Leaving the hook exposed. All right. All right, you win some, you lose some. I didn't catch any fish tonight and I missed that one earlier. But I think enough happened on this video that I'm gonna publish it anyway. I'll probably make this a Sunday video. Now I would stay a little bit longer. However, my buddy Clint is having problems with his boat. So I'm gonna go all the way down to Loudoun from all the way up here in Knoxville in the middle of the night to try to help him fix his boat. He has a new Lawrence Live Target and I don't think he has it wired right. From my understanding, the Lawrence has three wires. You have a yellow, a red, and a black. Obviously black is ground, red is power or positive, and then the yellow goes to the yellow on the fish finder. So you tie it all together. You put the red to red, black to black, yellow to yellow, leave the yellow separate, and then take the red and black that's combined from your fish finder and from the live target and put it to your battery with a fuse and a switch if you want to have a switch if you use a switch with a fish finder you got to make sure you turn it off first before you flip the switch off it's just like a computer you don't want to flip a power switch before you turn the computer off it could cause problems with the unit so i guess now i'm going to reel these up and head to clint's house as always, I want to thank you for taking your time out of your day to watch my video. I really, really appreciate it. I think I will be hitting up ponds in the future, so hopefully I'll catch a fish on a video. Thanks again for watching. Hope to see you next time.